like this, the great heaven knows that we wish we had not so many clothes. So let's loosen up. I'm Wendy, a manager of Sunland Holiday Village. I've been a nudist since before the day I was born. My mother was um, a nudist in England while she was still pregnant with me. Uh, we moved out to Australia in 71 and in 74 my parents bought this place um, down here, at, uh, down the southeast. I think it's one of the real stigmas attached to nudism or naturism is that people think it's a sex party or that perverts come here. I'd say it couldn't be more opposite to that. It's probably, I feel safer here than I do, you know, at any beach in probably most caravan parks and places. Um, it's a very close-knit sort of environment. People always look out for each other and protect each other. And, of course, we vet everyone that, that comes here. So, you know, we, we make a decision on, on whether, it's, whether they feel that they're a safe person to be here. As far as things like, uh, you know, people talk about, you know, sex parties and things, the same rules apply here as they do in everyday life. So if it's not okay in your suburb, it's not okay here either. What goes on behind closed doors is people's business, own business. If it becomes a public thing, well, they're gone. They're not here. So especially being a private place, not a club, we can very quickly just say, look, sorry, you don't belong. Your behaviour is not acceptable. See you later. Okay, that's the question every male asks, which I smile because it actually never happens. I think probably the fear of it is what... Stop, I'm not male, so I can't tell you, but in my experience, it's never happened. It's always something that they're worried about. But if there was an etiquette about that, we would say, if someone was worried, we'd say, look, take a towel, throw it over your shoulder. If something crops up, um, you can put the towel over yourself and just go back to your caravan. You may find your clothes getting in the way If a pretty dress hides your true desire for nice and slow My name is Mike and I live at Sunland Holiday Village. I've lived here for about three years uh, in the nudist lifestyle. I just love that type of lifestyle, it's free and easy and I'm very comfortable with it. Come rain or shine, wind or hail, it's, uh, it's comfortable for me. Well, if it's cold, okay, we're not stupid, we put clothes on, but um, it has to be, for me, really cold. I mean, we're not a place of rules and regulations. Um, that's sort of, you know, in some ways sets us apart from other places, but our, our two main rules would be respect the premises, respect the nature, respect the place, and respect each other. And that pretty much encompasses just about everything. Uh, as far as, say, for a newcomer coming in and what they would expect as far as nudity goes, uh, we don't call ourselves clothing optional because that can attract people who aren't nudists at all, but we're what I would say clothing tolerant. Um, so if people come, they're new to it, we're happy for them to take all the time that they need to adjust or if they find that it's not the lifestyle for them that's also fine as well so it, there's no pressure from us people come along and usually within 20 minutes to 24 hours they've sort of you know immersed themselves in it and found you know that they really enjoy it you know how long you're staying or uh, no not yeah, really no, just take it as it yeah. comes yeah that's, yeah. Fine. that's <laughs> no problem okay so we've got a spa and it's on between two and four during the day mm -hmm. and then about seven till ten at night mm -hmm. and we also have a sauna so if you want to warm up you can go in the sauna any night i've been living here now for two years running the place and yeah really enjoying the lifestyle and this weekend is 40 years since it started and so we're having a wonderful birthday bash and we've got a lot of people coming that have been visiting us for 40 years. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>